much, Honorable Pierce. May you all sit. Thank you. It's a very good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much. I'm very excited to see a lot of young faces here. Of course, there are more young faces than the older ones, but we appreciate because there's a lot that we need to learn from them. But at least to show that we've got some young faces here, and young people here. It's important to just say, this make some noise. Yes? <laughs> so that at least you show how youthful and young you can be. If you make the most noise, you make something that come to you. You know, this is a national cyber security month. You might get something. Can you please make some noise, please? <laughs> Good morning to you all. The Honorable Minister of State, represented by Mr. Mungue, the Honorable Pierce, uh, Dr. Chirume, uh, the other Honorable Pierce as well, Dr. Matika Iri, uh, our Deputy DG from Portress, Mr. Marisa, uh, the ASCO, Mushaka Ite from Setarapi, uh, Mr. Boyle from Econet Wireless, representing our CEO, Engineer Shanawani, representing Net One here, retired flight uh, lieutenant engineer, Musumba, representing Zanet, War representative, Dr. Takarasha, Kach University, represented by Dr. Chivanga, Bikati, represented by Kono Kovid, Jaranjanj, uh, Mr. Jaranjanj, uh, engineer Kadebu, from Arup Jesuit University. Yet represented here by Mr. Ngawuri. CEOs, MDs, and all ICT players that are here, members of the academia, ministry officials, today headed by Mr. Gumin Doga, who is the director of ICT security, who is in charge of this program. Media, I see I recognize you. I will give it quite a huge list. It's quite long indeed, and indeed they recognize you. I'm sure I'll also do the same as I conclude. Distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very good morning to you all. It is an honor to stand before you today at this uh, cybersecurity conference, which is one of the many activities that is lined up for the National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. I got some people asking me yesterday when I was trying to also speak about this conference today. We say why the month of November, when internationally we recognize it in October. Yes, indeed, as Zimbabwe has not been spared when it comes to issues of cancer. I'm sure you recall very well that October is also another month uh, which has been set aside to also be the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So it has always been a tradition for us to also give a lot of uh, also emphasis and um, also concentration on the Breast Care Cancer Awareness Month, which is also October. So we realize that indeed for us as a country, it's important for us to then be able to recognize the month. So it's better at least we look for maybe a lesser congested month, which is November, and that's why you see now we're celebrating it in November. But I think for us, let us applaud that at least we're organizing this day and this month in this month of November. I'm glad that experts and professionals from various fields have come together to discuss and address the critical issues of cybersecurity. Let me begin by commending the organizers of the program, the Minister of ICT, Postal and Courier Services, and our gracious partner, Equinet Wireless, for their thoughtfulness and for bringing together players in the cybersecurity space to share experiences on these important issues. It is my favorite hope that issues discussed and lessons learned will strengthen our resolve to counter cyber threats in the economy. In today's digital age, ICTs and particularly the internet has become the common denominator for all socioeconomic activities as they represent the foundation of prosperity, growth, and securities of our society. Zimbabwe, like the rest of the world, is embracing its digital future through its Smart Zimbabwe 2030 initiative and also Digital 2030, through the NDS-1, in its journey towards an upper middle income economy as enunciated 
by the President of Zimbabwe, His Excellency, Dr. Idima Nagawa. It is also increasingly, increasingly important for us to also know that indeed in this interconnected world where technology has become an integral part of our lives, the importance of cyber security cannot be overexpressed. We should, we, we, with each uh, passing day, we witness the rapid growth of digital advancement, which bring immense benefits, but also expose us to new and evolving risks. Cyber security is not just a concern for government and corporations, it affects each and every one of us. From protecting our personal information to safeguarding critical infrastructure, the impact of cyber threats can be far reaching and also devastating. It is our collective responsibility to ensure that we have a safe and secure digital environment for ourselves and also our organizations and also future generations. I call upon all the respective stakeholders, such as Portras, at the central bank, uh, service providers, and law enforcement agencies to, elab to collaborate in combating their scourge as to protect our citizens. Today we are here to conscientize you on the risk we are faced with as a nation and the need for us to work together so that we ensure that cyber, the cyberspace is safe and stimulating for everyone, especially businesses. At the national level, the government of Zimbabwe recognizes the threat of cyber attacks and cyber crime. Uh, they also pose also a lot of damage to us as a nation. And indeed, the government has responded swiftly through regulatory measures such as the enactment of the Cyber and Data Protection Act, as well as supporting our directives and other related legislation to enforce provisions of the law across all the sectors of the economy. In addition, the Ministry working with Portress and the International Telecommunications Union, Union is setting up a National Computer Incident Response Team, NCIRT, to provide the focal point for incident reporting and response in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask to emphasize three key points in this month. Firstly, we want also to increase on the awareness. It is very paramount. We must recognize that cyber security is uh, not a one-time effort, but an ongoing process. So indeed, as, mu as much as we're recognizing it in this November, let us also put more emphasis in every other month uh, during the year. Uh, it requires continuous vigilance and proactive measures by staying informed um, about uh, the latest threats, uh, vulnerabilities, and best practices. We can better protect ourselves from the, all of our digital assets. Secondly, the issue of collaboration is also critical. Cyber security is not a battle that can be fought alone. It demands cooperation and coordination among individuals, organizations, government, and international bodies. Sharing knowledge, expertise, and threat intelligence can help us to stay one step ahead of cyber criminal, criminals. Lastly, education. Education is the foundation of a secure digital future. We need to invest in cybersecurity education and training programs at all levels by equipping individuals with the necessary skills and knowledge to navigate the digital landscape safely. We also need to empower everyone so that they make informed decisions so that they can contribute to a more secure cyberspace. As we gather here today, let us remember that cybersecurity is not just about technology, it is about people. And I'm sure you heard Bajoran Janja speaking about that. It is also about protecting our privacy, our identities, our finances, and also our way of life. It is about also ensuring trust uh, in our digital interactions. Indeed, I also believe that uh, we've got very like-minded uh, young people who are here. And it's quite important for us as a country to also come up with homegrown solutions that will also contribute towards us making sure that we have the issue of cyber security. And indeed, uh, it is said, His Excellency, our President, Dr. Edwin Nangagwa says, And I believe that so what are we saying? We're saying that we need to build our industry together and we should also know that our country belongs to each and every one of us. So it's important for us to also work towards achieving this. 
Indeed, um, as a ministry, we have got a lot of programs that are lined up for us this month. And some of them include a lot of competitions. Uh, Mr. If I can have Mr. Gumindoka, can I please have some of the competitions that are going to be having uh, within this whole month? <coughs> I'm sure we've got one uh, which is quite concentrated on the girls, uh, on the young girls in ICT, uh, which we have, uh, which, um, which is called um, the Cyber Security Challenge for our school girls. Uh, this one day we're going to be having our finals uh, in Seleus University on the 6th of November. We again have uh, a national, uh, national cyber security challenge for academic institutions where we're going to be having one in universities and colleges. And the finals um, are going to be at Bekatili on 8th November. The one is sponsored by Bekatili. And then we also have a cyber security challenge for people living with disability. Uh, this one uh, is in the pursuit of what His Excellency Dr. Edim Nangagwa is saying, that we don't need to leave anyone in any place behind. Therefore, we are going to be having uh, two prizes, courtesy from Portress. We are going to be having one laptop and one uh, phone that is going to be given to people that are going to address any cyber security challenges that they're going to get. And then the last one uh, is the cyber security challenge, which is open to the public that we're going to be having this month. And the year we're going to be having three prizes that are going to be won, uh, KTSC from Portress. Uh, the two prizes, again, are KTSC from Portress, uh, where we are going to be uh, having every other person also being able to also enter into this competition. We have got laptops. I'm sure we're going to have more, uh, hopefully from Net1 and Econet. Hopefully they'll give us more. Uh, but uh, as it stands, we have got five that came from uh, Portress. Uh, we're hoping that maybe they could add uh, maybe hopefully five more from net one he has just said yes so thank you net one. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to have um, uh, from net one and from people net ah thank you so uh, so thank you very much uh, we are going to be having this challenge uh, so we'll add more prizes on the virtual uh, cyber security challenge so these five meaning now we have got eight prizes that are going to be won uh, on the second uh, of um, second of December, as we conclude uh, after we've concluded the month, so our registration procedures will be shared through uh, the Mrs. Facebook page and X account. Uh, the reason why we have these competitions also coming up this month has to be very exciting, and besides it being excited, it also has to be informative. I'm very happy with the presentations that we got here. It's quite important for us to, to also engage as young people. Uh, yes, they're going to be laptops, uh, state of the art uh, phones and laptops that are going to be one. And we're saying, yes, uh, you show what you can also offer, what solution you can also offer in terms of us uh, also coming up with the cybersecurity strategy. Uh, for us to be in line with uh, ITU, we are also working towards us coming up with a cyber security uh, strategy in the country. And indeed, this will also help us to also uh, circumvent some of the challenges that we get when it comes to cyber security. But indeed, let me thank you all for coming. Uh, this is indeed um, quite a very um, interesting and exciting month that we have. And indeed, we are launching it today. But I believe that we're going to be having more interactions. Let's get involved. I'm sure there will be more prizes as we go. But indeed, what we really want is for us to invest on coming up with a program that will make sure that indeed we circumvent any edit and losses that will happen through cybersecurity. Indeed, uh, enjoy your month. And uh, I would like to say, have a happy and cybersecurity awareness month. Indeed, let me draw the mic. Thank you. <laughs>